Hi, it's me again. And you might have noticed on this channel, I talk a little bit about the TV license and also about what to do if you get a visit from one of the TV license inspectors or goons. And when I'm talking about that, I always say, if they ask you to sign something, never sign it. And guaranteed in the comments, I'll get a hundred comments saying, what is it that they're asking you to sign? Well, today I finally have a copy of that document so I can show you and we can talk about it. Let's have a look. Now this is the actual form that the TV license inspectors walk around with. And this was sent in by one of you brilliant people out there. You send me all your letters and you send me all your stories. And if you find things, especially good stuff like this, you send it over to me so I can share it with everybody else. So let's crack on. Let's take a little look at this form. So day, date, time, name, address, postcode, all expected. So it says over here, record of interview, England and Wales. So already trying to make it sound scary. I don't know if actual people get a copy of this if you fill one in. Let me know if you've had a visit and you've had to fill one of these in. Did they give you a copy of it? Because that would explain how I got how I got this one actually, wouldn't it? Do you have a television here? Do you live here? What business is that of yours, Mr. TV License Inspector? Do you have a television here? What difference does that make? I don't need a license to have a television. You shouldn't say these things, I'm just in my head. Do you have a TV license? If I did, you wouldn't be knocking on my door with your form, would you? License produced and details. It might be an old form, this, because uh, you don't actually get a physical license anymore, do you? This is the bit that gets me when they have to read out the caution. And the TV license inspectors are obviously so thick, they actually put the caution on here so that they know what to say. They don't have to memorise it because there's a lot of words and they, some of the inspectors might struggle with the amount of words. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later may rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? If this caution is not understood, it has to be explained. And it's such a big box there as well to write yes or no, I don't understand. Right, on to television set. May I come in and expect the set? So it's like a script for them. Are they that thick, the inspectors? They can't actually remember what they're supposed to say when they're there. May I come in and inspect the set? TV set scene, inspection details, circle as appropriate. Black and white, colour, video, DVD, DVD, oh, digital box. All of that stuff. So they are looking for it. They're trying to make it look as official as possible. Programs, scene, slash, heard. And the name of the programmes. So this is, they are getting evidence to get you a fine for watching TV without a license here. Channels tested. So in other words, if you let one in, they're going to grab your remote and they're going to flick through channels. I've even heard of them plugging t people's TV aerials back in and then tuning the telly in. I've heard of that. It's scary, isn't it? Other satellite dishes, blah, blah, blah. Admissions, circle as appropriate. So whatever people have admitted to. Documentation of installation. When was the set installed obtained? Well, that doesn't matter because you can have a television without having a TV license. When did you first use this set at the address without an appropriate license? When did you last use the set for watching live TV programs here? Is the set owned, borrowed or rented? What fucking difference does that make to anything? Do you have satellite cable or digital package? Well, I, you've got the inspection thing there, you tell me. Personal details. So at the top, it's got day, date, name, address, postcode, and now they want your phone number, how long you've lived at the address, which is absolutely no bearing on anything at all. Where's your date of birth? Fuck off. What is your occupation slash status? What difference that possibly make to you? What is your national insurance number? I have to tell you that you may be prosecuted for an offence under the Telecommunications Act of 2003. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Why, one, I'd like to say, why the hell do you need my national insurance number? And two, bugger off. Notes are read by interviewee, and then you have to sign it. I agree that these notes are a correct record of the interview. So I'm guessing you do get a copy of this if you've been party to filling one of these out. Well, that was absolutely terrible, wasn't it? Not just the quality of my reading and presenting of it. The form itself was absolutely bloody terrible. This is why you should never talk to them. A lot of people see something like this on their doorstep and they'll think it's a really serious thing. And that the man in the tie or the waistcoat, and some of them are even got like the flak jacket, like stab-proof vest looking things, you know, to make themselves look more official. They are door-to-door -door salesmen. And when was the last time a door-to-door -door salesman came 
trying to sell you pegs or a hoover or J-cloths and said, do you have J-cloths here? What is your date of birth? What's your occupation? What's your national insurance number? I'm going to prosecute you for not buying my J-cloths. That's how you have to think of this. They're salespeople. It's absolutely shocking. The amount of people that would have been scared into buying a license after seeing this and letting them into their home and seeing a copy of this thing, is, I find absolutely shocking. And I hate the tactics of TV licensing. I've never known a company to try and sell you something so menacingly. It's a product. It's a TV subscription. I either want it or I don't want it. I don't want to be hounded and menaced and scared. And this is dirty, scummy tactics. And I'm glad I finally saw one of these because it's made me hate the TV license inspectors even bloody more. It's shocking, isn't it? So it's the first time I've seen one of these. One of you guys sent me it. I really appreciate that. If you do want to send me anything, links are below. Do send me some stuff. If you want to watch some more of my videos, wait a little bit longer. Right at the end of the video, I'll put a card up with some more videos that you can watch there. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought of this. While you're down there, hit the subscribe button. We're getting awfully close to 40,000 subscribers now. It'd be amazing, wouldn't it, if we all together as our community get over 40,000 subscribers. It'd be bloody brilliant, wouldn't it? So please do hit that button, and I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.